Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? What? I don't even know what's going to be. <clears throat> she was singing along. Yeah, well, we could have, but I didn't know what to do. Hello, everyone, and welcome to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. My name is Cole. My name is Chandler. And you are in for a great playthrough. Chandler's going to be starting us off. Go ahead and hit that start button, Chandler. Aye, aye, Captain. This just came out today. This probably won't go up maybe tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get one up tomorrow. Um, but we're playing this right now. There's a hair on the mic. Okay. Um, <laughs> Chandler, I love this game. Um, but I have to say that you, despite I feel like you didn't have as much time with the original game as I did, I think Welcome you love this game. Welcome to Bikini oh, Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Starring. Today's the big day. I have devised an ingenious the plan to finally steal kind of the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicato Tron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one Audio. is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Checklist complete. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh. Hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? No, 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 wait, wait, but I'm your master! I made you! No, no, oh, my good China! <laughs> <laughs> my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. <laughs> yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You this feels like a Dora the Explorer episode. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama, Alabala, Wisna, Tikitana, Fushbar, Griddle, Bits, Von, Vita, Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb like the picture and in the I back. was really hungry, so I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. I think it's from an episode. Shell, <laughs> then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I Patrick's had teeth are kind of terrifying. <laughs> Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going just to be the line, best day ever. The fact that SpongeBob, Good night, Patrick. doesn't have any other teeth is also kind of scary. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Wow! Gary, did you do that? Meow. Meow. All right. So, as I was saying before I was interrupted by the story that honestly is pretty generic and pretty bland for a story, but yeah, hey. Yeah, Gary. It sure oh, looks like geez. we're in a doozy of a pickle. That's I wild. think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Um. Meow. What a fantastic idea. These signs will provide important tips to tips help, to me, help out. me out. 
Chandler, you love this game, um, I know. Um, how do I this read This is obviously the a remake of the original uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Meow. Yeah, well, you can just skip this. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just... Guys, I need context, Colin. This is important information. <laughs> totally important information. The fact... Okay, so... This is a little weird. This game originally came out for PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox in, what, 2003? Uh, I believe. Either 2003 or 2004. I remember playing this game mostly at our aunt's house, where we were we were uh, being babies, babysat. They were baby. She was watching us Breaking while my mom was news! at work. Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging to- So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. Look at the little light. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Star? No, Tragically, they, we're honest, sure. The teeth, but they're not teeth. Like, actual fish have the little, uh, barbs on their mouth. He has barbs on his mouth. I just realized that SpongeBob's holes are slightly 3D. The controls are a bit slidey, but it's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and you, you can explore whatever you're... Um, Chandler's playing for the most part for now. We'll switch off every now and again. I don't think we'll make it known too much, but I don't think it matters. A note um, from Mr. Krabs! <laughs> And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Hey, he's getting all sweaty again. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, Brown you've back, been like, er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! How can promotion! they not get if they've gotten all the other actors for SpongeBob? That's how can right, they not get a Mr. promotion. Krabs? So what this here new know, job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects really that the audio. robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. It shines. The kinds of brown does seem to be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. But I'm mean, still, like, if they... If they may have reused them, because that sounds pretty similar, but it's just weird that they didn't like. I don't know. You thought I thought they would use something else. Isn't isn't that little that thing th Roller. that you're looking at right now that I can't describe? Is that's the thing that drives them out? It's in the movie, right? Does it drive them oh. out in the movie? No, this came out before the movie, but this was in the original. This that was in another episode, I think. Oh, was it? What was it in Long Tan and Handsome? Maybe. No. Tan. I, I just remember being what dries them off. It may have been in the movie, but I thought this came out before the movie. We gotta like point out any references we see. Oh, oh there's a. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Oh, look. There's a picture right beside SpongeBob and Squidward together. Yeah. I love how they use the actual cartoon. For the pictures. We should have enough to go through that door. That door too. That door is a spoiler. You can't do that yet. You must do it the proper way. Alright man, you're in control. So, we played this at my aunt's house. Chandler, did you play it? You were pretty young. No, you couldn't have played it. You would have been like a year old. I can't. I, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> How did you know about this game? I just like went off and just Well, okay. It pro we probably played it a couple years after. I played out. it on the PS2 when you rented it. That's all I remember. I, n I don't remember renting this game. I remember renting it. And the uh, Revenge of Flying Dutchman. I think I rented it. I rented Revenge of Flying Dutchman, which was not a great game. Okay, I got, okay well, that was a bit about got stuck. <laughs> This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. He'll lose a pair of underwear every time. Basically, it's their health. Like this. <laughs> okay. It didn't make any noise. It did not make a single noise. I think maybe this new, this probably if, this is probably pre update If a safe <laughs> falls on a sponge under the sea, does it make a sound? The answer is no. I feel like a new sponge. But we did. We had this game on the Game Boy too, and our mom 
played the heck out of it. She actually found the code. Was it W2D4 or something like that? She was... You don't know this story? No. I well, remember beating it or trying to beat it. So, uh, on the Game Boy game, instead of saving your progress, like most Game Boy games a lot of times, especially the uh, ones that were based on a, uh, a licensed game, they would have passcodes, passwords you put in to get to the levels. Kind of like your early Metroids and stuff as well. Spongebob had the same one. And our, we can, I can never beat the levels. We got it like for Christmas one year, just as like kind of a gift from like one of our uh, aunts or uncles or something, whatever. Well, we, pl we played the, uh... oh my gosh, oh, it's like throwing you off. Oh gosh, this is Mario Sunshine physics. It, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> she, she just like would mess around and just like type in random, what, they do combos? I think this is to train you how to hit. Um, wait, I think you need to use it to get up there though. Yeah, where? You're missing that green one. Jump up there and use your, oh, there you go. Okay, because we really was like, a, there's another timer that brings you up. Yeah, there it is. It's a sock. How you activate uh, try reading the other side. But she came up she came up with one of the passwords like W2D4 or something, and turns out that was a password to unlock all the levels in the game. And we were like only on the second world by that point. They added a map. That's neat. That's pretty cool. Kinda like slide. 2020 is bad as it is. I hope is the year of remakes. We got Final Fantasy VII remake. Well, they're remaking destroy humans after this. Oh yeah, they are. Okay, make and we got SpongeBob. And I hope it's true that we get some Maya remakes too. The, are you not gonna get the sock? I don't know how to get to. All right, we'll do it later. We got we gotta get some story mode going. Come on, man. We I can't. Swear that like when you hit these, they open up and they may have changed. That. I don't know. Ta da! Not shiny. <laughs> this is a golden spatula. You need them to find to defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Basically, they're uh, our stars in this game. We now, I didn't play this game as much. I played it. We got to the final boss, but we never beat it. We never did. We never got to beat the final boss. And I don't know why it wasn't hard. I just. I was young enough to where I couldn't really do it. Which kind of sucks when you think about it. Like, as a kid, if you think about... I think back on being a kid and playing games. I never... I never beat any games as a kid. Like, I remember Super Mario Sunshine getting 10, 10 shine sprites was ah, like a big thing. There was nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. From those robots? Where did they <laughs> come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. So I have a question. Golden Why spatulas, like eh? SpongeBob, Plankton's if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a emotes. bucket full of golden like, spatulas. They made his actions, you know, he, he's dreams. like diabolical looking face and then sad looking face. SpongeBob has the same look on his face You've no matter what deal. he says. That that face, he has that same face no matter what he says. I think that's how the original. But still, it's like they made like Plankton look. This needs some updates, clearly. Like it looks good already. It, looks, it does look very. And it good. has a lot more background details. Like it looks great. Good. And this, by, by the way, this is on the Switch. If you didn't know, we're playing on Switch. Look at that. Okay, that's the, that's what happened. Okay. 
<laughs> I didn't know if they still had that. I thought you could just walk right to the level. It looks like it's right there. So in this canonical setting, SpongeBob lives right behind Goolagoon, right in front of him, and like right next, like like is where things like really close together. I like how the uh, the little uh, flowers are floating. Those are cute. I like how they actually have like so much background detail because you can see the Flying Dutchman's area in the moon. What was Pl what was Patrick doing just then? It was Patrick. <laughs> he was like tugging on his underwear or something. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. Fry cooking. <laughs> No more fry cooking? But because so you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You think you'd want gold over shiny stuff? Uh, oh, I didn't know they actually had the body work. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're There's more lost. A bunch of yeah. robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. Not the sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Okay. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For it's every like ten really socks you silence. bring back to me, what I'll for? give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Turkey basters were gonna be in the sequel battle. Okay, I can't. I can't come up with a joke. Battle for Tom a turkey. I don't know. <laughs> the bat. The great. The great adventure of Tom Turkey. That's. It. I thought I think that I thought it was like No! Joe, no, Joe! Oh, you could have made it. Can you get on the arrow? Uh well, it's kinda of too late. I need to go get the other one. The movements are a little slow. It's a little weird. Maybe we, we should probably stop complaining about the game. It's just Go, 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 go. Jump on the arrow! Can you jump on it? I want. I want to the arrow. Can you jump on the arrow? No, you can't. Okay. We got. We got a chance. Eight, seven. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. Three. Go. Go. Yes. You made it. Ah. Okay. Bubble boy, there he is. <laughs> He's like bout invisible. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? What is that? Mean? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Been hitting that soap bottle a little too much, eh, Bubble Buddy? Gone too much of the heads and shoulders. Right. You stop Press that. this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power Got, that defeats you know, anything that is directly above you. Try it out. Too many soap bars, Bubble Buddy. I told you to stop that. I thought like when you hit the. Uh, I don't know. I thought they explained the tiki torches in this one. I thought they explained how they are just appear. Uh, I'm not really sure. They're basically just Crash Bandicoot crates, because they have the explosive one. What? Watch out! And they have the weird one that you can't hit until you find some stuff well, about it. Well... Yeah. I think you have to use the bowling ball I think you have to do the bowling ball or the, uh, the torpedo. Where are you going? I want to get this one. Welcome to Goo Lagoon. Goo Lagoon. 
Cha-ching! And we'll go, uh... We'll Cha-ching! Cucking! We'll do jellyfish fills, and, uh... Do you want to play that one? We'll, we'll just take turns. Like, at, we'll switch off every episode. I'll do jellyfish fills. Well, we're about to end this episode. Okay, we'll do jellyfish I mean, I'll do part of it. I'll do all of it. We'll just switch off every episode. All right, we're headed to Jellyfish Fields. Ah, Jellyfish Fields, home of the jellyfish, floating in the sky, warm and fuzzy. Ah, Hello. The rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. I like how like. The uh, graphics are appearing as we do this. Squidward, okay, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you're bald! See, look, they give him, they made him bald, like a moat now. But now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stand you it. do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. And before we do that, we're going to end this episode here. We'll see you next time on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Rehydrated. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see more episodes. Until then, huzzah! We'll see you next time for another sponge-tastic adventure. Bye. <laughs>